What is a contract assessment? How would you conduct one and why? If you find yourself asking these questions, the next few minutes will provide you with some answers. Having a contract that aligns to best practice and is in line with industry standards is important as it will safeguard the company from operational and commercial risks, such as having an ambiguous contract that is open to interpretation. Other risks may include having a contract with inadequate or expensive levers to exit, low spending commitments from the supplier, and as a result, substandard, but at the same time, costly levels of service. Conducting a contract assessment will allow you to understand where the key issues are. Deloitte has developed a tool that will help cross-reference contractual terms against the levels of service and contractual relationships, as well as cross-reference contractual clauses against best practice and industry standards. As such, a contract assessment will help identify any pain points and help you shape the strategy on how to proceed, whether it is to do nothing, renegotiate the contract with the current supplier while addressing the pain points, or go to market to find a new supplier. A contract assessment involves conducting an end-to-end -end review of client contracts in order to highlight areas of contract risk and strength of key terms against industry standards and best practice. Essentially, this enables our clients to prioritize focus during deal options planning and deal renegotiations. To conduct the contract assessment using the tool, follow the next six steps. Start by developing a detailed understanding of the contract, including commercial and operational performance components. The next step involves assessing the contract's key schedules and evaluating their effectiveness based on industry standards and best practice. Step 3 is to identify and highlight key risks and limitations to contractual components based on seven key focus areas. You can do this using the Contract Assessment Tool, which is divided into the following areas. General Terms and Conditions, where you assess general terms, contract renewal options, SLAs, etc. Pricing and Billing which covers the pricing structure, payment terms, and general financial responsibilities of both parties. Contract and relationship management, where you would look at the contract change and management structure, benchmarking, key supplier employees, etc. Adaptability and flexibility focuses on the rights to use third parties, termination, and exit causes. Risk and liabilities cover data protection, intellectual properties, and other clauses, including those required for regulatory compliance in financial services situations. Operational performance focuses on governance, cost reduction, management of KPIs, and knowledge management. And finally, in service content, you will look at roles and responsibilities, service-specific and meaningful SLAs, discrete and independent service descriptions, etc. Depending on the contract, the client may also want other components to be assessed, like for example, third-party management. Step 4 involves assigning an RAG status to each of the contractual components. This is achieved by assessing the contract terms against the best practice examples detailed in the tool. Each category is assessed as equal or better than best practice, marginally worse than best practice, or materially worse than best practice. The tool then automatically generates a heat map summary of contract health. Once your assessment is completed, the contract assessment tool will create a heat map, which may look something like this. In step 5, conduct a deep dive into the contract assessment red flag areas and draw out the key findings. This can be done by interviewing main stakeholders in the contract to validate the initial assessment. It will give you a 360-degree view, as it can often highlight additional issues from the implementation and management of contractual contents. Finally, based on the gathered information, it is then possible to compile overall observations and articulate the most significant assessment findings in detail. These observations can be categorized by level of financial, regulatory, and operational risk if no remediation action is taken as well as the complexity of such remediation efforts. These are then mapped on an axis to begin prioritizing remediation for an action plan. The output would also include any opportunities the team has discovered to increase the overall efficiency. Deloitte's early engagement during a contractual assessment positions us well to support our clients in remediating the pain points and advising on potential contract renegotiations or new sourcing deals. So a contract assessment is frequently seen as a foot in the door for sourcing engagements. If engaged in negotiations and followed their completion, a revised heat map can be created and compared to the original version to demonstrate the improvements and value delivered by Deloitte.